For those of you who haven't been catching up with the streams, or haven't tuned in, recently on a stream during the main quest, I ended up with a little bounty on my head. And upon returning to New Atlantis, I ended up being approached by some UC fools who wanted me to go and infiltrate the Crimson Fleet. Now, I don't know about infiltrate. I took this more as an opportunity to get in with the Crimson Fleet. But I knew that I needed one thing. If I was going to join the Crimson Fleet, now that was a ship. Once I joined, it was very likely that I wouldn't really be able to fight the Crimson Fleet very much, which meant that getting one of their ships would be a lot harder. And I wanted those colors more than anything. The problem was more finding them. One of the many enemies that I found in space, just a few spacers, weren't really cutting it. I was getting some good practice in taking out engines and perhaps boarding a ship. The problem was these ships were a little weak, a little fragile. I really just had to hope that the Crimson Fleet themselves were going to hold up a little bit better. This was one of a few run-ins with the Crimson Fleet. Finally happened after a good searching around. But even here, because there's so many other ships in the area, I can't even get the engines down before they're being destroyed. I was realizing very quickly that there was little that I could do to get these guys alone long enough to get high enough level ones that I was actually going to be able to get one of their ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need anything from you. What I need... I need more Crimson Fleet. I knew there was one place to find. I'd run through here once before and when I was low level and gotten absolutely blasted out of the sky. There was a whole fleet here. I think this is where their base was, so that made sense. But that meant that I had to take out a whole bunch of them. So buckle in, this one's gonna be a hairy fight. So here, I'm trying to pick out which ones are going to be worth grabbing. I saw one that was above 40 levels or so, so it was likely going to actually be worth taking. But I'd have to save it for later, which meant finding it and separating out the small fry. Now so far, my ship was holding up okay. Finally, my shields went down. I just had to make sure that the repairs outpaced the amount of damage that I was taking. Yeah, thanks, Barrett. Yeah, I don't really need that grav drive right now, anyways. The battle's going pretty well in my favor. A lot of these ships are so weak that just a few volleys takes them out. And I've got the turrets that are doing work too, in addition to my main guns. The only thing that was giving me any issue was I was a larger and slower ship than a lot of these. running circles all around me. Now 
that was down to just a few of them, and now I had to really choose what I was going to do. I took down my turrets so that the turrets didn't fire on them. I didn't want to lose some of them before I was ready. There we go, buddy. And now it's just between these two, both above level 40, one of which was a little bit higher level, so he was my target. No, you. Yes, the grab drive is out of commission. More than the grab drive. And then it was just the one. This one I had to be careful. I wanted to make sure if I bled any damage through, it would be going straight to those engines. Once the shields were down, that was it. Their engines now disabled. It was time to board. I don't think I need to tell you what happened to the crew after that. You can use your imagination. The ship now under my control. It was time to take it to a shipyard somewhere. Give it a makeover, so to speak. While this vessel was adequate, it needed a little flair, a little special touch. It needed a little work. But it was mine. Crimson Fleet Spectre 3. And there it is. Ready for its makeover. That nice red paint job is going to serve me well. And so it was time to get started. A lot of flying around, going to different shipyards, and... Going through a little bit of a build process. Anything I can help you with? Yeah, I'm gonna need your services. Okay, sure. We'll take care of any holes, broken seals, that kind of thing. Okay, no problem. So here we go. Welcome to the rebuild.
the whole build process took a while. Several trips, different star yards, and quite a bit of credit gathering in between. If you wanted to try to follow along with the build, he uses a few tricks, a few mods, and it may not be possible for everybody to build on their own, but if you want me to do a full in-depth build guide and showing off all the mods that I use and all the tricks of the trade, just leave a comment for me. For now though, it was done. It was ready. And it had a bit of flair to it. I wanted it to look something a little bit more like a fighting vessel than just some cargo transport. So here it was. So let's take a tour of the inside. There's not much to it. I decided, unlike my larger, more roomy ship, this one was going to be streamlined. The inside had everything that I was going to need, at least. The one downside might be that I had to climb down to get to the docking bay. But, wouldn't be too much of an issue. Few beds, few places for my companions to stay while I was out doing my pirating activity, of which I'm sure hey, they would Captain. disapprove. Need help with anything? Needed this little computer room though, in order to get more available crew seats, of which I was going to likely pick up a few more along the way, and then a workshop here, because well. I may not need the research stations of an infirmary, but I was definitely going to need those workshops. These little fuselages here, they're nice, but the way they connect is a little annoying. These doors will definitely stay open at all times. But here's my ship. Everything on it, everything ready to go. Now it was just time to give it a test flight. You know what that means. It means I'm going looking for trouble again. So here's where the irony begins. As I finally found a vessel in order to try out my new attack craft in, lo and behold, who shows up but a couple of Crimson Fleet. The very thing that I had looked for for hours, and they were here when I no longer needed them. It was time to show them what a real Crimson Fleet pilot could do. And you know what? Why not? Let's get crazy. Well, it looks like getting Crimson Fleet ships won't be a problem anymore. Let's just hope they aren't too mad about all the pirating their pirate vessels. Because I still need to go through the trouble of actually joining. But that'll be for next time.